They want that money, yo. Is it warm? It's actually not that cold. I feel like I'm being forced to snorkel. That's so technical. So I definitely have thoughts that I'm not going to share right now, <laughs> but they're not good ones so far. Good morning, guys. So I dropped him off at his house yesterday because he has family obligations. And once I drop one friend off, I pick up a new friend. Hello. Hello. Uh, my Rally Roots friends. If you're if, if you're a fan of Rally Roots, you probably know who I have sitting next to me. If you don't, this is the lovely Callie. She's going to be joining me uh, for the next three days on the on my adventures. So. We got a two hour drive ahead of us to some springs. Uh, we're really excited. The pictures look really great, but I'm sure these pictures were taken in the summer. So we're <laughs> going to see what we rock up to. Uh, here we go. After two hours of driving roughly, we have made it to Rainbow Springs State Park. We kind of went to the wrong entrance to begin with. It's the entrance in the summertime. You can do tubing here and that's the entrance you go to for tubing, but because it's winter time and really cold, it's closed. So yay. video ever. So entrance is two dull hairs. I don't see where the box is to put the money but I'm also hoping that there is somewhere where I can get change because I don't have exact change and generally these places like exact change. They want that money. They want that money yo. I don't want to drop ten dollars in the box. <laughs> <laughs> two people. Alright. No. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. Can you imagine jumping into that in the summer? Wow, wow, we wow. Wow, wow, we wow. where the water's coming up. So I wore a sweater um, to the park today because it was cold and now I really regret it. So we're gonna come back to the van and I was gonna put my bathing suit on we were gonna go swimming. However, there is another spring called Devil's Den um, prehistoric site or prehistoric park and uh, it's the same sort of thing but a little bit different and it's only 30 minutes away so instead of putting the bathing suit on and going back in we're gonna go to the devil's den and check that out and possibly go swimming there and if it turns out to be something horrendous we'll just come back here because it's on the way now I'm getting out of the sweater because I'm sweating oh my goodness we drove up to uh, devil's den it's devil's den prehistoric springs um, for all those correcting myself we roll we rocked up and we realize that you have to actually make a reservation and to visit this place if you want to like go down into the devil's den and now we're also reading the website and it's it's sounding like that you can't swim you have to actually snorkel you have to have a mask fins and the snorkel in order to be able to go which I don't know why that's like that but hey we're here we're gonna do it it's like 15 bucks per person and then $12 for gear you know not too bad we only get an hour and a half we booked the only bookings that were left around 2 o'clock and 3 30 so as we continue on we'll let you know what the dealio is still got like 40 minutes before we can go in and sign waivers and figure it all out at which point it'll all be explained and I'm sure it'll all come to fruition but like hmm. It's so technical. So I definitely have thoughts that I'm not going to share right now, but they're not good ones so far, which is rather disappointing. I already dropped my flipper in the water. 
cold. It's very cold. It's cold. seconds ago and I'm like kind of nervous to inspect the problem because as we know my problems with the van turned out to be way bigger than what I feel like they need to be and they generally get really expensive so I see a gas station up ahead and I'm gonna pull in there and I'm gonna check my tires and fingers crossed they also have firewood because we're looking for firewood because we want to have a ball fire so hopefully that we'll get a win under my tires take or at 80 or take 80 psi and this one's at 70 and that one's at 50 so that one definitely needs air but i don't have any quarters and we're like 30 minutes away from our next destination so i think i'm just going to be a cheeky <laughs> and push forward <laughs> my hands are all dirty so dirty so dirty i mean it's sort of rubbed off now but there was definitely black you can tell that hasn't been done in a long time. Okay, so yesterday we were like super hangry when we got back and just decided to um, eat food and put on a movie. We didn't really go back into like the whole Devil's Den thing. I would like to have a little small chat about, because uh, <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna go there, you might as well sort of know. This place is definitely like, it's not for tourists. It's set up for scuba divers and the people that work there, you can tell they take pride in scuba diving, but I think as social media is building this place up, they're getting more and more, you know, non-scuba divers, AKA like ourselves. Now, like we did have a, a kind of a negative interaction <laughs> with the snorkel guy he yeah he had a little bit of attitude and I didn't really understand why and he put us on edge and felt like you weren't welcome that was kind of like the negative feeling that we kind of had but I also understand why because once you get down into the pool area which is stunning by the way absolutely blew my mind but I understand why because there's also signs of you're saying scuba divers have right of way if you know there's only so many people out on the stairs blah 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 and no one's respecting that so I can understand why maybe the staff there are like a little bit more annoyed <laughs> Well, they should have someone down there regulating it, too. I kind of agree with that. I think it's getting to a point where it's busy enough that they, there should be someone down there regulating yeah. it, or at least managing the stairs, because tourists can't manage themselves. I'm sorry to say it. Like, that's that's what it was It was like. We were stuck at the top of the stairs while everyone was taking a photo, and you get stuck at the bottom of the stairs while everyone's taking a photo, and you can't get up the stairs because someone doesn't want to step off the stairs. It's just a little bit of a cluster. So, um... That's I said a naughty word, but it's gonna be bleeped out. So. 
It was really beautiful though. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I would say it's worth it still. Oh, 100%. But just to expect that when you go. <coughs> you want me to get you some water? Yeah. No. It is gross, but I'm not judging you. What's gross is that a bug was in your throat. You're now trapped with the mosquitoes. Ten. You have little dead bodies all over the bed. <laughs> there. Check. Check. <laughs> Flip up out of the water like a dolphin, so you're covered. <laughs> <laughs>